Well, it has been feeling a bit like spring the past few days, not just because of the warm temperatures, but also because of those higher pollen levels. Yeah, Amanda Holly here now to explain what's blooming and what might bring a little bit of relief heading into the weekend. I've been sneezing a lot lately. Yeah. I know. I know. We've been getting messages. I mean, we never really have an off season for yeah. our high pollen counts here in Florida. It just depends on what time of the year. It depends on what is actually blooming. Now, when we look at the past 30 days, back in January, those pollen counts, whatever they were, were between medium and high levels, but you'll notice there were three distinct little dips here in those pollen counts and each of those three dips. We actually had a good amount of measurable rainfall across the area. So what does that tell us? Well, it tells us when we have rain, it actually brings our pollen down our pollen count down, whether it is brief or not. If you're looking for some relief in that pollen forecast, you can look for those rain chances. And when we look at that pollen forecast, you'll see those pollen counts do come down to tomorrow because we do have some showers in the area with a cold front that will move through, but it is short lived again. Those pollen counts do go back up on Saturday and Sunday into that medium and high category. And right now the things that are in bloom, juniper, maple and oak. And as we head into February and into March, we'll continue to watch those pollen levels and let you know what is blooming and what is subsiding.